Hello everyone, it's Kirsten at Mikani Global Consultants. Today I wanted to speak with you about decision making. So uh, usually when we make a decision, we uh, gather the data or measure our pros and cons. We might consult with someone, we might do a little research, and then we make a decision. There are other times, however, uh, that we have more difficulty making a decision. We've measured the pros and cons and we still can't get clarity. Um, so what I'd like to suggest for today is that we explore another way of deciding, which is actually a really vital way of deciding um, and that can help us help direct us towards what is our true north. Um, this is the inner compass. So what's the inner compass? The inner compass is a space from which we make a decision that is different than our mind. So whereas our mind um, has reasons and opinions about how things should do and measures data, our inner compass is more of an instinctual or intuitive sense of decision making. So for example, when I go to choose between eating an apple and orange, I might uh, I just simply choose one. I lean into a preference. I sense into a preference and choose one. I don't spend too much time thinking about the pros and cons of the apple and the orange. It's more of a felt sense decision making. I just kind of sense in and say, mm, what do I feel like having right now? And there's a leaning in one direction or the other. So that's our inner compass. Um, this is a very important uh, tool to have, especially if we're doing not only um, trying to make a decision where we feel ambivalent or we don't have clarity, but also in terms of decisions that are more difficult, more complex. It might be something like choosing a career or whether or not to stay in a relationship. For these types of um, issues, it's really important that we check in with this inner compass aspect of ourselves. Um, so I'd like to explore another way, for example, of looking at it. Let's say that I'm trying to decide between a career, um, engineering and music. So with the engineering, I might have all the list of pros and cons. And with the music, my mind has also made a list of cons. I have opinions from people. I have data about how um, that would function in society, that uh, each career. Uh, but I still don't have clarity. I still feel confused. So what can I do? I can use this tool by imagining, for example. Imagine myself five years from now being a musician. How would I feel? And sense into that. And five years from now as an engineer and sense into that. And what you'll notice is that there will be one preference that will feel more open, more relaxed, more free. So that would be the nudging in the direction of that option. Sometimes the inner compass does not give us a clear one or the other. It kind of has a silent wait. We don't get a clear nudging towards either one. That just means that we need to spend some time uh, waiting and the clarity will come later on, or perhaps a third option will arise that we hadn't thought of. So um, the trick to doing this is to really sink into how your body feels rather than looking for a reason or opinion. Our inner compass communicates through a felt sense. There are no words. It's kind of a silent communicator. But there's just a natural sense of more relaxation and opening and uh, perhaps also a sense of aliveness in one direction. So that's an important uh, tool that I wanted to share with you and uh, looking forward to speaking to you uh, in the future about this very important tool that can help us follow uh, the path that is going to be most fulfilling to us. Bye-bye for now.